What piece of clothing on the opposite sex is your biggest weakness? I'm into the tired office man going back home on a train style, white shirt, rolled up sleeves, loose tie, suit pants. I have no idea why though. That man for sure has a job. I call that look the 20th century provider. Mid-thigh sundresses. Thigh-high stockings. Good lord, yes. It's like makeup for legs. Username checks out. Shirts with the sleeves rolled up to the elbows. Came here to add this, found it already added. This, especially if the person has nice hands. I lost her to a boy with big hands. Poor doof. I for some reason really like women in sport clothing. Put these shoulder pads and helmet on honey. Ya girl ya, now put this on. Take it, Brandon. Ducking love that movie, thanks for making me laugh in the bathroom at 2am Lamau. It still holds up, absolutely worth watching. I love Doofy. Hey Sind. Bye Sind. Gail Swallows. A man in a well-fitted long sleeve. Also ski outerwear. Stupid sexy Flanders. It feel like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. TBH would say a sweater, for some reason I find them really attractive on girls. Oversized? I love tight ones and baggy ones. I like them on skinny women, athletic women, chubby women, average women, obese women. I think it's a special case fetish kink for me, but still. That could have been read like Dr. Seuss but you didn't do it right. Sundresses get me going. I also like the thin shirts and no bra look. Everyone knows the sundress has magical power. These are all a cheat code sundresses yoga pants booty shorts. Now wear them all at once and unleash hell. Short skirt and long jacket. Na 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 na, na 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 na. Okay girls that wears a tank top and an unbuttoned flannel. I swear the flannel acts as the 3D bars you see in optical illusions. Flannel shirts on girls are just lovely. I'm dismayed that no one has said ill-fitting cargo shorts and new balances yet. Thigh highs. Thick thighs save lives but thigh highs are my demise. Sundresses, pencil skirts and those shortish, form-fitting dresses. This dude can't go anywhere without getting horny. I have two kids, a dog and a mortgage due to a white bikini. No regrets. When my BF wears a long sleeved shirt, but rolls or pushes the sleeves up to like, just below the elbow he mean, I always want to bang him anyway, but that's like, shove me against a wall and do whatever the hell you want kind of bang and just don't roll those sleeves down. I think you described everything that goes on in my head every time my husband rolls his sleeves up. Like geez just duck me already. Stockings edit. Totally not pretending these hugs are from legs and stockings. Only stockings. Only stockings feels more nude than being actually nude. Because naked is just naked. If she's wearing stockings, you know she planned that shit and nothing is sexier than a woman who wants you. Boxer briefs. I have some that I don't think any guy can pull off lol but they're so damn duck and comfy. I call them magic pants, pants is underwear in UK, because they're like a strange almost lycra material and after wearing them for a couple minutes it feels like you've got just a wisp of silk wrapped around you there. However it does look like you've crammed one small, intimate part of yourself into a very thin wetsuit. Baggy clothing. What you hiding you fine mf. Comfort. I'm hiding comfort. Oversized hoodies with leggings or tights. I love that you love this cause it's so comfy to wear. I never thought guys would find it attractive. It looks comfy. So many guys love this. I miss the Levi's with the white t-shirt on a guy. I am incapable of putting on this ensemble without declaring that I am wearing my standard man clothes. Dragonbone armor. A nice three-piece suit.
Ooh baby. Cause every girl crazy about a sharp dressed man. ZZ Top know the deal. Edit, wow. So cool that so many of you have such good taste. Thanks for votes and awards. Suits are sexy as duck. A well-tailored three-piece suit is one of the most attractive outfits ever to exist. Leather jackets. I don't know why, because I don't normally go for the bad boy personality type, but something about the biker aesthetic is really, really hot. I know what to wear now. Going by this thread I should wear a shirt with rolled up sleeves, a nice watch, a leather jacket and a skirt with thigh-high stockings and knee-high boots. Am I getting this right, Reddit? Please, I've been single for too long. You missed the sundress with the large flower print. Backless. Not clothing but a choker. A garter belt, but for necks. My wife lounging around the house in a white tank top and a comfy pair of undies does it for me. Also a comfy pair of fitted jeans and a white t-shirt. Ah the old standard issue space station officer underwear look. Yeah man, I love it when my wife has to run into a closet to hide from an alien and part of her butt crack is visible for a second. Sundresses and I think we can all agree on it. What length sundresses? You fool, no man knows how to describe what really makes a sundress or what makes them so amazing. We just know that they melt our hearts. Summer dress with sneakers. My wife refuses to believe me when I tell her this is hot. A kilt. Very specifically, my husband in a kilt. Im Scottish, Hess Australian. Before we met in a third country, he had lived in Scotland and whilst there he had a kilt made in his family tartan, his mum's family is Scottish. Flash forward to our graduation from our master's degree and I walk into the room. Hess standing at the top of a set of stairs, resplendent in his kilt, looking like an old world prince. I already knew that I would marry that man, but damn, talking about sealing the deal. Hess standing at the top of a set of stairs, was he being fully traditional about it? Smile. Oh yes, Therese no other way to wear a kilt. Yoga pants. Men wearing green shirts. St. Patrick's Day comes with a flash flood warning. Workies in their uniform, something about a guy in a pair of trousers with too many pockets, a pair of boots and a high vis. You have just described roughly 50% of the male population in Australia, myself included. The tradies get the ladies. For men, form-fitting button-up shirt, sleeves rolled up, top three buttons undone for women, t-shirt, sleeves cut off W sports bra or no bra. I have a very hairy chest, more than two and it's a bit much I think. As a gay man, that's where you're wrong, kiddo. As a straight woman, I agree. Third button open with a hairy chest is incapacitating. Stockings fishnets. The casual Friday look. Maybe it's because my husband only wears graphic tees and cargo shorts. The very few times he wears slacks and a polo button-up shirt I just fawn over him it is so attractive. Bonus points if Hess rocking a clean shave and a recent haircut. Garter belts. Shirt and or bra strap hanging off of one shoulder. My shirts. I can't explain why though. My now ex asked me if she could have one of my shirts and lowly she pulled it off better than I ever could. I think she still has it. A crisp white shirt with the sleeves rolled up in jeans. Classic. Long boots. Blue jeans. White shirt. Walked into the room you know you made my eyes burn. 